Bonjour, mon amis. Today we'll be reviewing the French classic, the flick known as the Amour uh, Proper. So, my dude skis, I am reviewing this French kino and it is by Jacques Haggett and it's uh, Nicolas Sodatovich. I'm gonna stop with the accent now, it's already tiring me out. Alright, so, what we're gonna do a review and we're also gonna do an analysis, alright? So, what are we gonna start off first? We're gonna start off with the costume design. So, the main character, um, I don't know what his name is. I don't think it's ever actually mentioned, but we can clearly see that the main character is dressed a lot like a man known as Sir Oswald Mosley, and as you may know that Sir Oswald Mosley started the Gangweed Gamer Rise Up movement back in 1932. He's been an inspiration for all Gangweed Gamers ever since, and um, yeah, that's a very nice um, political um, reference that the directors have added to this flick. Alright, and uh, moving on to my next thingy, so as you can clearly see, you're right, so basically like the film, it has a lot of water in it, you know, it's near a beach, and um, at the end of the movie it says Finn, and uh, that's why with that evidence which I have collected, I'm gonna say this may possibly be set before the year 1970, before Jaws came out, yeah. So yeah, it's a prequel to Jaws, um, that's a cool little thing. Now, um, now uh, moving on to the uh, primary theme, theme of the movie, um, which is that uh, the uh, homosexual allegories towards the film. So uh, as you can see at the beginning of the movie, the main character is eating a baguette, which is a phallic symbol, which, um, and he's putting it in his mouth, which is kind of gay, you know, because it's a phallic symbol. And baguette also rhymes with faggot, and um, you know what else is gay? I'm um, putting another phallic symbol in your mouth, and by that I mean cigarettes. And you know, he's just everyone's smoking cigarettes in this movie, you know. And you know what cigarettes are colloquially known as? They're called fags. So he's smoking fags, and then he gets heartburn from smoking fags which is obviously an allegory to AIDS and HIV. Later on in the film, uh, you can see that he's dancing with a mop, which is a reference to the Netflix original series known as 13 Reasons Why. And if you're wondering what does a mop have to do with 13 Reasons Why, well, we're gonna have to watch it to find out. But like, there's this episode of this guy named Tyler and uh, there's a mop and well, <laughs> things happen, and uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, that's all I have for the um, the uh, homosexual aspects of the film. But you know what? I'm gonna say it. This film, it's quite hollow, you know? It's like a bunch of bubbles, you know? They're fun. Alright, it's a fun little flick, alright? But it's quite hollow, you know? It doesn't have many themes, except for gay. And you know what? Um, this film, this flick, it was released in June, which just so happens to be, um, the gay people month, and, um, so what I'm trying to say is this movie is just a bunch of, what's it called, um, it's just a bunch of shameless corporate pandering towards the LGBTQIP plus community, you know, just to get an extra cash grab during this, uh, month, you know, the, some would say, that the uh, greedy capitalist is uh, dividing the working class into these labels to um, make a market. Yeah. So, overall rating. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a good movie. You know, it's uh, it's pretty keck. It doesn't have very much cringe. All right. So, on the keck to cringe scale, it's gonna be at least a six kecks out of a total of ten kecks. And on the political compass, I'm going to give it a anarcho-centrist. Alright, uh, that's all I have for this review. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later, alligator.